So I, I, my whole approach is to rewind life back to its start point, a putative start point, and try to determine what the properties were that led to the living world at its earliest point, because it's the simplest system we can possibly study. So I'm going to take something out here, which I like to share. And I shared it, I believe I shared it at the last meeting. I think I shared a different one. What I'm, what I'm holding in my hand is literally a piece of our common ancestor. This is stromatolite from northwestern Australia. This is about 3 billion years old. And these little textures, you can't really see them. I could hand this out if people wanted to pass it around. Uh, this, this, these little textures, these ridges, are laid down by microbial mat communities that's, that cement sand grains together, and they, they stack up. And this is the dominant fossil in the record of, of life on Earth for three billion years. These guys are what ch transformed our atmosphere and our oceans and prepared for soils and they prepared for life. So this is ground truth, uh, this, this particular rock. The one that's on screen is uh, part of a new discovery from uh, south, uh, another part of northwestern Australia. It's actually hot spring preserved stromatolite and we'll get to that later. But this one's 3.5 billion years. I broke this open out of a slab and it was like, oh, look at those red nodules, new stromatolite uh, morphology in, in, a, in a barite mineral. See a little closer look there. Amazing stuff that this is even exists still. So where did this all start? 